What's going on, tech lovers? You are watching Future Automation, a place where imagination meets reality, and you're listening to Tejas. Going a bit away from my favorite Python. Well, all the languages of our favorite for me. I like coding a lot. But we are going to go towards a node a little bit, and we are going to do some fun stuff using Node. For this time, we are going to send emails using Node.js. Of course, few of you will say, why, 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 why? But this time we are going to send some HTML designed emails. That is also not a new thing, obviously. But after Gmail has stopped the third party apps access easily, what we are supposed to do? That's what we're going to check today. So with a cup of coffee, Let's get started. So guys, in previous video, we have combined Node.js with Python and we have done a lot of stuff. So this time we are going to do <clears throat> some email sending using a package called Node Mailer and also a package called FS which we are going to use in the coding why I'll let you know in some time. And we are going to understand that after Google has stopped this uh, the less secure app option in the security, how we are going to send emails using third party applications like from code, from all the SMTP servers and all that other stuff. It's quite easy and I think most of them have already done it. But for those who are new, this video will obviously help. So let's go through those parts one by one. So first part, we will be setting up the stage for our code to run perfectly fine. So in simple terms, what we'll be doing is we'll be setting up our Gmail account. Now, if you'll go to your Gmail account and when you'll go your security settings here, in security settings, you'll find that we used to have an option called allow less secured apps here in this section. But now it's not there. So what do we do? We don't have any direct option. And whenever you are trying to log in through a normal way in a SMTP server, it will give you an error. So what, what we are supposed to do now? So for that, they have already provided an solution is that first you need to activate the two-step verification part that once you will get into it you will uh, easily understand what exactly you need to do it's a two three step small process i've already uh, activated the two-step verification and once you do that you'll you'll see that there is another option that you will get here app passwords which will initially be not there so to <coughs> access Gmail or to send emails from different codes and SMTP servers, what you need to do is you need to create an app password, which will give you a 16 digit password, which you need to add in place of your actual password in the code. So if we'll go here and if I'll say, now it, uh, when, you're, you'll, uh, when you're, you want to create an app password, it will ask you to create, uh, it will ask you the password of the Gmail account. So let me just put Gmail account password hopefully this is right bingo okay so now here we need to select custom uh, other name where well, you have all the options here mail calendar contacts and youtube so if if you want to go ahead and you can just select youtube it's fine youtube select device so what device you want you are supposed to use the code so you'll say windows computer now whenever i'm going to generate the code it will tell you that your app password for your Windows computer is this. You need to make sure you copy it and then done. That's it. Now, what you need to do, you need to save it somewhere. So let me just open the note pad here and we'll just paste it here for the future use. Now, don't try to use it because I have already, I will already have been deleted all these passwords. Once 
you'll be watching the videos because I'm, I'll be done with the recording and editing. Now, moving to the next part. <coughs> so now comes the coding part, which is kind of a bit difficult for newbies like me, of course. I'm also new in this. I'm using the node builder, node mailer for the first time, but we can go ahead step by step for easy understanding. Now going to the code part. Let me just you know. Okay, I hope you guys are seeing it very well now. <clears throat> so in coding part, what we are going to start with is first we need to add the required libraries from which the first library will be node mailer. So this is the first library that we are going to add. And then the second library will be file systems. Now I'll explain you why we are using file systems. Although there is no any direct relation of sending email with the file system because we are not exactly needing file system to send an email. That part is already taken care by node mailer. The reason why we are using file system i'll explain you in a sec now <laughs> node miller so we'll come back to the main library that uh, we are going to use here so node miller and sorry for this all mess i just want to make it a bit more interactive and make sure that you understand what i'm trying to explain so node miller what exactly it does is it acts as a mediator between the code and the email so kind of a SMTP server you can see so what exactly it does is whatever things you are passing to node mailer as a part of email so it may be the from mail to mail the body and the attachments and all that stuff it will take it and it will send to the email server that you need to send it it may be gmail it may be yahoo it may be ready it may be any any email any email you can just think of so what node mailers part here is as i told you is a mediator who is responsible for doing this all task so behind the scenes so behind the scenes he is the main hero here working now now coming back to the file system no, why, the reason why we need file system here so what this file system does is okay what, what is this okay okay this is this is too big yeah. okay. okay so second number is file system what what do we need the file system for so whenever you are sending emails in respect of the body that you are having sometimes you wish to send some templates or some greetings or some images or some some stuff that is included in email so if you see the advertisement emails which you are getting for email marketing all they are having such kind of you know uh, emails like they are having some some images here some some food uh, some text in different different fonts and all that stuff so how do we send it for that what we do is we use html file here so there are many different ways we can do this the one thing that i could have think think thought of was this html file and obviously this is not like a kind of a different template that i have created it's just a email and name and send and cancel form in html that i have that i have took it from one of the website and i'm just using it now to get this html text in the code because we don't want to mess up the code and run out of the room in fear thinking of what exactly we have written here we are not able to understand anything so to prevent that part what we are doing is we are using this this fs that is file system library so in the code what we are doing in the code we are just taking the code from html file into variable consider it as fs and then passing it to the node mailer to create a html rendering template sorry i have written here something else i should have written something else okay so to create the html rendering template which you will get as an email 
so this is basically the sign of a email okay so that that's it that that's basically the normal explanation that we can you know give of what exactly this is now coming to the code part what exactly each section is doing so the first part as i explained to you is the inclusion of libraries and you create of course the variables which will be representing this libraries for the people who are new to coding and for those who are already in the coding we create an instance of this libraries to use them <clears throat> next is we create a mail transporter now what mail transporter is is that it will include which gmail service you are going to send the email and the authentication details so it will be a user id and password now here you can see that instead of the actual password of our gmail id here we have some gibberish word that is some some different password this is the 16 digit password that we have been provided by the gmail so here instead of you know this password we will just use the new one that we have created and we'll see what what exactly we have to, we are thinking of whether it is working or not so mail transporter is nothing but creation of a package which will include the service to which we are sending the email which we are sending from the email and the authentication details that is user id and password next to that in mail details now from the name obviously you will be having an idea of what exactly mail details can be so mail details will have from to subject and text if you want to add the body and an html if you want to add a template render that is what so we are going to see both things we will first try with the text and then we'll go with the html so both concepts you will get an idea about and next to that uh, so if we'll go i'll just clear this okay so if we'll go a bit below we can see that the mail transporter that we created we are using the same mail transporter here to activate a function send mail and in that we are passing the mail details the mail details uh, package that we have created and it's kind of a dictionary you can say key value pairs and we are sending it here and then of course we are creating a function which is having an error and the data the return one and then if we get any error we'll log the error and if not all things are perfectly fine we'll log that email is sent successfully now going back to the html text i have, I have already shown you this is basically a simple now make sure whenever you save the file you don't save it as dot html you save it as a dot text file because we need to read the file and then we need to get the data from the text file and then we need to send the email this is it now if we we'll go back to the gmail if we we'll go here the security of okay thank you thank you so we don't have any latest email right as of now and yeah one more thing i want to before we go to the demo part all the links that i have got the code and all the node mailer stuff all the things i have linked in the description so if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe and like and share the video and also hit the bell icon of course so that whenever i'll add a new video you'll get a notification of that and also check out the description for all the links and make sure to check out my github repo to get all the codes that i have done till now and also the further one if you want to contribute anything make sure you do it willingly in the github also you can do the you can get the clone the repos and you can make your modifications and create pull requests and all that stuff you can do it and also if you have any uh, any queries pompets don't forget to add that in the comment box okay let's go to the demo now so <clears throat> if i will uh, we'll go first with the text and then we'll go with the so mail 3 i'll say because i have sent already two mails i guess now if i'll run this so node 
mail node js so those who are new to node again we need to run the code with node before the file name and then hit enter so if the email is successfully sent we should get a e return response as email sent successfully if not then there is some mess in the code and email sent successfully of course it should have been because i have tested it yesterday only <laughs> okay so you can see here that we have received the email from me to me of course because i don't want to uh, you know add any more emails in this or bother my other email ids so node test from node js testing email three from tejas this is what we were sending <coughs> and now we'll go for the html template and then you'll get a basic idea of exactly how we are going to send the html details so email sent successfully again and it will go back to the it will come in a minute also if you'll see here you can see that this is the html template here so if you'll if you want to add something here you can add it but it's not going to send anything this is a non functional html okay so it is asking me something that this i didn't check okay it has blocked the pop up anyhow we are not into that right now but as of now this is i i don't think this is a working template but of course you can we are very much i'll be happy if you'll try something like this so this is it guys this was a short demo of what exactly we are supply, what we were expecting to do we got two different emails and all that you know good things and all the code so it's just a uh, 30 lines of code 28 line to be precise if we are excluding the email part of course the html part of course but you can try lot of different things with node js as we have created last few videos where we have combined app shortcut with node you can add some more functionality to node that whenever any action is triggered from uh, any other external app like app shortcut or any android app you can trigger an email sharing yourself or some other email id that this action has been triggered and then you can trigger that action just for an intimation it's just a thought you can do anything with this kind of code yes guys so that's that's it uh, for today's video if you like the video make sure you hit the like button subscribe the video make sure you add your comments and don't forget to uh, check out my github again if you want to contribute anything to the code i'll be happy to hear your uh, contribute uh, hear your opinions and as well as suggestions so make sure you uh, add in comments send me emails if you have any queries i am on instagram i'll link on link my instagram id in the description as well as make sure you watch all the previous videos and as i always say keep innovating guys thank you take care